Everyone wants the latest gadgets in their cars. That's why manufacturers are increasingly offering a wide range of functions from the usual media players and satellite navigation to internet connectivity and smartphone mirroring. And so here at CarBuyer, we have done some in-depth testing of their individual systems to see just how easy they are to use, to assess their performance for sound and vision, to test their connectivity, and also see just how good their route guidance is. And of course, we've also looked at how much some of their additional features cost. In this video, we are testing Vauxhall system known as IntelliLink, and it's available across its range, including the new Astra. Our experts, car reviewer Rebecca Chaplin and technology journalist Jonathan Bray from Alpha.com will use a wide range of tests to grade the systems across five key categories, starting with usability. It's very easy to tune in a DAB radio station. All you have to do is go into the media and then tap the radio button again until you get DAB and then you can choose from a selection in a list. The only problem was that it did take me quite a while to work out that you have to keep pressing the aerial symbol to switch between those things. There isn't actually any driving data on the main screen, but you can see things like miles per gallon and your trip computer through the driver dash. Um, if you're on the home screen, it's very easy to get to nav because there's buttons on there and you just press the touch screen. If you want to get to the media, then there is a separate button to take you to the media or you can go through the home screen touch screen. Overall, Vauxhall's infotainment system is very easy to use and I would give it four out of five. So the problem with the audio quality in the Astra is it just isn't as bassy as I'd like it to be. So if you listen to a lot of bass heavy music, you're not going to like it at all. And when you turn the volume up, the cabin panels rattle a bit as well. In the Vauxhall, the speed of the system is pretty good. Screen to screen time is generally less than a second. And you've got a knob here so you can scroll through long lists of things quite quickly. The screen in the Vauxhall is pretty bright. Um, the thing I don't like about it particularly is it looks a little bit grainy if, if you look at it closely, but when you're driving, it's fine. It's, it's per perfectly readable. I'll give the Vauxhall system a four out of five for performance. If you want to put in a point of interest, that takes you eight steps. It's actually quite complicated. You have to go through several different screens to choose a place, but it's correct and it finds the closest place, which is what is important. It took two minutes longer than it thought it was going to take and two minutes longer than Google said. But to be honest, two minutes out isn't that bad. Um, it does have traffic updates as well. You can go through the traffic screen, which lists all the incidents around the area, um, but it doesn't have any speed cameras, unfortunately. Overall, I would give the Vauxhall system 3.5 out of 5 for SatNav. So the Bluetooth system in the Vauxhall system works fine for pairing new phones. You can use it to uh, stream mu music from your phone and you can use it to make phone calls from the cabin. And it works absolutely fine. But you don't necessarily want to do that. You want to plug your phone in to a USB socket in the centre console and you either Apple CarPlay, which it comes with right now, or Android Auto, Auto which is coming further down the track. So there's plenty of other things going on with the, with the Vauxhall system. Um, most importantly, it has the, the new OnStar system, which is new to the UK this year. That means you can press a button up here and talk to someone. And send a, they'll send a destination for your satellite navigation through to the sat-nav system on the car. Um, they can diagnose faults on the car and they can send through things like diagnostics on a regular basis. The other thing you can do is if you have an accident, it'll call through to the uh, emergency uh, hotline automatically for you. So it's great for your peace of mind. The thing with the OnStar system is it comes with 4G as standard to start with, um, and that means you can basically use the car as uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot and connect all your phones to it, so you don't waste the, waste, waste the data connection on your phone. I think the, uh, the, the data connectivity in the Vauxhall is absolutely superb. Um, I'll give it a five out of five. The basic system is very good, but the extras that you can get for what's quite a reasonable amount of money are a very good deal. The OnStar system particularly, that's something you'd only expect to get on premium cars usually for what's really a bargain price on a bargain car. Overall, I would give the Vauxhall system 5 out of 5 for cost because it's just such a good deal. After taking the average score across the five categories, Vauxhall's IntelliLink system scored a highly commendable 4.3 out of 5. To watch our reviews of other infotainment systems, click on the individual manufacturer's badge. Also, click on our logo to subscribe to our channel or on the links below the video if you're watching on mobile.